before we continue, I would like first to tell you that you have to stay safe. Coronavirus is real. Wash your hands. Keep distance. Avoid touching the soft parts of the body. That is the nose, your eyes, your mouth, and keep distance. Thank you. So, we would like to look at continue with it, the types of natural vegetation. And in last time we looked at many of them, they will want to look at the tutorial. For the equatorial rain, forests. We are looking at equatorial rain forests. Equatorial rain forests have got three major ones. We have equatorial, we also have rain forests, and sometimes they are also called the tropical tropical rain forests are also called the tropical rain forests. Now we want to know why are they called equatorial rain forests? They are called equatorial rain forests simply because let's put one that they grow, they grow in areas, areas around, around the equator. They grow in areas around the equator. Now, why do you think they only grow in areas around the equator? These areas receive, say that receive plenty of that receive plenty of rainfall. And when they receive plenty of rainfall, not only once, but it must be through throughout the year. So the factor of being receiving throughout the year makes it continuously grow. And that is why they are called the tropical rain forests. Uh, we also have that they are called rain forests. They are also called rain forests. Why? They are called the rainforest because they grow in areas that receive plenty of rainfall. And do not forget to say that we see plenty of rainfall throughout the year. So it flashed that we see rainfall through through out the year. We have seen the first one that they grow in areas around the equator. And we know that equatorial regions receive plenty of rainfall throughout the year. And sometimes they are called rainforests because why are they called rainforests? They are called rainforests because they grow in areas that receive plenty of rainfall throughout the year. Now, when we look at this one, tropical, they also have another name called tropical rainforest. So you will find that. They are called tropical rainforests 
because they are also say why they are called tropical tropical rain forests they are called tropical rain forests simply because they also grow in areas that are enclosed by the tropics they they grow they grow in areas within the tropics. So we have seen the three things here. One, why they are called equatorial rainforests. One, that they grow in areas of equatorial regions that receive plenty of rainfall. We have also seen why they are called rainforests that because they only grow in those areas that receive heavy rainfall. Then we have also seen why they are called tropical rainforests sometimes. Because they grow in areas within the tropics. So what major factor have we seen here? We have seen the major factor being rainfall, rainfall, rainfall throughout the year. So I think we have understood the subhead. We now want to look at the characteristics, the characteristics of those equatorial rainforests or tropical rainforests. I think that is our next part that we are going to look at. So when you are giving the explanation here, it must have rainfall throughout the year. Okay? So let's look at now the characteristics. Characteristics. Characteristics of equatorial rain forests as we said last time that the characteristic is what makes you to know how something is or what it is how it appears, how can you identify or distinguish it from the other? So, when we look at equatorial rainforests, first of all, we must know that these are natural forests. These are natural forests. And they grow under the conditions that we saw. Condition one, plenty of rainfall and things throughout the year. So, let's the characters, how do these trees look or these forests look like? One, we have that the trees in these forests, in these forests, forests grow very, take note of this word, very. They grow very tall, meaning that if compared to other areas, you will find that the trees in equatorial regions or equatorial forests grow very tall. Now, what makes them to grow very tall? It is always what is asked. They may say give the characteristics or give a reason why these trees grow very tall. So this grow very tall due to due to due to competition due to competition for for sunlight for sunlight now as the first group of the trees grows it will reach a certain height 
But the younger trees will also be growing from now. As they continue growing, they will have to go and shoot higher than this one so that they can get that in sunlight. So the other ones also keep on growing and they form, they continue growing very tall. That is why we are saying that those trees grow very tall due to competition for sunlight. Now, they can ask me a question here and say that how does, excuse me here, how does the competition for sunlight, how does competition for sunlight affect the growth of the tropical or equatorial rainforests? How does it affect? The answer is in here. It makes the trees grow very tall. How does the competition of the sunlight for the sunlight affect the growth of this forest? It makes trees to grow very tall. Another characteristic that the trees, the trees, or oh, we can also say the forests in general, forests in general are ever, ever green. The forests in general are ever green. They do not change the color of them because for them they have only one rainy season throughout. So they grow, they are ever green due to due to plenty of rainfall due to plenty of rainfall received due to plenty of rainfall received received Throughout. Throughout. Unlike other trees, unlike other trees like maybe in the savanna, that shape of their leaves, these ones receive rainfall throughout and they continuously go growing and they are green. We also have another characteristic and say that the trees there, trees. Grow. Trees grow broad. When we talk of broad, broad, broadening leaves. The trees grow broad. In fact, the word broad here is just large leaves because they are receiving plenty of rainfall. So, my dear Nana, if you want to know the factor, the major factor, that contributes to the growth of this forest like that you must go hand in hand with the plenty of rainfall received throughout the year. So these trees also grow broad, broad leaves due to due to plenty plenty of rainfall received due to plenty of rainfall received. And like areas where rainfall is little, those trees tend to grow very small leaves to keep water for them to survive. But in these ones, they have enough. That's why the leaves also grow very broad. Now, let's talk of the wood these trees give. These trees, we also say that the trees in equatorial forests provide the trees provide hardy, hardy wood. The trees provide hardy wood. That when they are harvested and they want to get the wood, the wood is always hard. Why do you think these trees provide this hardy wood? These trees provide hardy wood because they provide hardy wood because they long to mature. These trees take long to mature. The heart was not okay there. They don't take long to mature. So that one gives them half appetite to make sure that they mature very well. Unlike in other forests like planted forests where we can get the soft wood because these trees mature very fast. But these ones take long to mature. We also have another one. How many are we? One, two, three, four. We 
we want to add some more to E. We also have this trace, they we also have that the trees it is also another characteristic characteristic that the trees take long to mature why do these trees take long to mature? you will find that as they continuously experience a large or plenty of rainfall throughout they continuously grow and they will find that they find that they will take long to mature and we also have another one as they take long to mature and because they are receiving a lot of rainfall continuously they also grow we say that trees trees grow trees grow but trees but trees roots but trees roots the large roots because they now receive a plate of rain for you know roots are the ones that get enough so okay so as we have seen that i want to give you another one that trees grow in a canopy and that one will be that the trees grow in canopy the canopy in canopy now when we talk of a canopy here the canopy simply refers to a layer of branches that grow in different trees making the forest seem impenetrable you'll find that those layers grow as one tree comes like this and another one comes continuously like that another one comes like so these are the layers they grow in and that's what we call the canopy canopy i think we shall look at the three species as we wind up as we wind up we say that trees trees are of different trees are of different species different species you will find that it has a variety of trees i think our next time we shall pick from the tree species found in the equatorial regions maybe i can give you some questions for what we have covered now i'm giving you some sample questions for you to answer as in activity questions and question number one is mention the major factor that favors the growth of Equatorial rain forests in an area. Two, we shall say, how does how does competition? For sunlight affect the growth of equatorial forests. Equatorial rain forests. And then mention any three.
Thank you for listening.